Welcome to my course of Revit Structure 2015 Basic Level I am Engineer Mustafa Mohammed Al Ashmawi I am Autodesk Revit Structure Certified Professional I lead you in this course to know all the basics that you will need to put your first steps in Revit and to prepare for the advanced level which will be released later and also in another course I will discuss with you how to take the exam of Revit Structure Professional First, before we talk about Revit, we must talk about Building Information Modeling or BIM. The Building Information Modeling is a process of connecting all the building stages starting by architectures, structural engineers, MEB, builders, owners. The concept of Building Information Modeling has existed in the 70s. In 1987, there was a company called Graphisoft used a program called ARCHICAD to make something called Virtual Building. The Virtual Building was the first implementation of Building Information Modeling. After that, the term of Building Information Modeling was first appeared in 1992, then the first version of Revit by a company called Charles River Software. It was not by Autodesk. The history of design. As you know, first we used many tools to make our design, pens, pencil, rulers, triangle, compass, and our calculator was the only thing that we can calculate our equations. After that, there was a system called CAD, Computer Aided Design or Computer Aided Drafting. That was a huge step that helped many engineers most of engineers are now using AutoCAD that applies the system of CAD in AutoCAD the main tools that we can use is lines, arcs, circles all of it are 2D elements that don't have meaning only I, the engineer that is using the program understand the meaning uh, for example if I'm architecture and so two lines I'll think it's a wall for structural he will think it's a beam and so on after that the next step was the AutoCAD 3D and 3D Max they are 3D programs but also using elements that don't understand the purpose of it like uh, cubes, cylinders, spheres all of it are 3D elements that I use to make a huge or a larger shape using it but also I am the only one to understand the purpose of it building information modeling as we said before use a concept called building information model 3D model when I add to it information or data of time and schedule related information we get a 4d building information model the, the 4d when it have cost related information it give me 5d BIM or 5d building information model if we add the project life cycle management information we now have the 6d BIM or the as-built model and that's the main use of Revit